und das Delio. Have you ever visited a farm? Most farm animals are kept because they provide milk, eggs and meat. Some are kept as family pets. Farmers have to work very hard. Every day they feed all the animals and make sure they have water to drink. The cows have to be milked and eggs collected from the hen house. Would you like to be a farmer? Pigs. Pigs like to roll in the mud to keep cool. Their skin is delicate and they can get sunburned. Pigs can not see very well with their small eyes. They have a big snout and a good sense of smell. Pigs are very intelligent. Some people even keep them as pets. Pigs will eat almost anything. Many pigs are fed on household scraps. Pigs like to scratch their backs against trees or fences. Goats. Most goats have horns. The male goat or billy goat has a beard. Goats are kept for their milk and has a stronger taste than cow's milk. Angora and Kashmir goats have long soft hair which can be used for making clothes. Goats are very good at climbing. They often graze on steep hillsides. Female or nanny goats have two or three babies at once. Baby goats are called kids. Sheep. Sheep are covered in thick soft wool. We can use this wool to make clothes. We can also use milk from sheep to make delicious cheese. Sheep are kept in large fields. They eat the fresh green grass. During cold weather, farmers feed their sheep on grain and hay. Male sheep are called rams. Most rams have long, curved horns. Lambs are born in the spring. They stay close to their mothers. Chickens. Baby chickens are called chicks. They begin life inside an egg. When they hatch, they are covered in soft yellow feathers called down. Chickens can lay an egg every day. Only a few eggs produce chicks. The rest are good to eat. Chickens have a fleshy comb on top of their heads. They also have a wattle that hangs below the beak. Chickens have wings, but they can only fly short distances. They sometimes fly up into trees to perch on the branches. Cats Farmers often keep cats to get rid of rats and mice which live in their barns and eat the crops. Cats like to sit on top of walls and rooftops so that they can see what is going on. Mother cats give birth to their kittens in a quiet corner on the farm. The kittens learn to hunt by copying what their mother does. Some farm cats may be quite wild and stay away from people. Others make good pets and enjoy the warmth of the farm kitchen. Cows Cows are very useful animals. We can make cheese, butter and cream from their milk. Cows use their long tail to shoo away insects. Cows usually give birth to one calf every year. The young calves feed on milk which they suck from their mother's udder. Bulls have large horns and are much bigger than cows. Ducks Ducks have webbed feet which they use like paddles to help them swim. Ducks like to swim on ponds or strings. They dive down to pick food off the bottom. Their tail feathers stick up in the air. Ducklings can swim as soon as they are born. They follow their mother into the water. Ducks have soft feathers which can be used for filling pillows and quilts. 
donkeys. Donkeys have large head and long ears. They have short manes and a tuft of hair at the end of their tails. Because donkeys are strong, they can carry heavy loads over rough ground. Donkeys are related to horses, but they are smaller and sturdier. They are happy to share food. A mule is a cross between a horse and a donkey. Mules are very sure-footed. They can be quite stubborn if they are not well treated. Dogs Sheep dogs help farmers herd their flocks of sheep. The dogs are trained not to hurt the sheep. In some countries, farmers keep dogs to protect their sheep from wild animals, such as foxes. There are lots of different types of sheepdog. All of them have thick fur to keep them warm in the snow. Most farm dogs live outside in kennels, but some are family pets. <laughs>